Hello and welcome to Bridges to Community. My name is Sarah Turka and I work at Bridges by Epic at Westford as the Community Relations Director. And my name is Erica Lab, Executive Director at Bridges by Epic in Westford. Welcome to Bridges to Community. Welcome. We have a great show for you today. We have Stephanie Lanzillo, Director of Community Education at Rodenbush here in Westford. And um, she's going to tell us all about this new and improved community center. So welcome to the show. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Hi, everyone. I'm really excited to be here and let you all know about a little bit more about Rodenbush Community Center. Great. Yeah, we're excited to have you. The buzz around town is, is that you guys are getting ready to open unless you're already unofficially opened. And before we get started, I'd love for you to tell our viewers a little bit about Rodenbush. I don't think everyone has a good understanding of, you know, who you are and the different programs you all offer. Excellent. Well, Rodenbush Community Center is our community center here in Westford. And we our mission is to open doors to connect and enrich our community. We offer community education programming for people in our community and the surrounding communities. And we also do have childcare and preschool. Wow. Oh, wow, that's a lot of wonderful programs. Um, and we can get into a little bit more detail. And now I know that Erica had mentioned that it's kind of the new and improved road in Bush. Can you share with the viewers where, where the location is? Absolutely. So we are currently located at 65 Main Street and we are just getting back into the building after a 16 month renovation, wow. historical renovation months. of the space. It looks phenomenal inside. I would encourage everyone to come by, take a tour. It's beautiful. Can you tell us what was done during that time? Absolutely. So during the renovations, they really took a look at the history of the building. Mm -hmm. and, and what was the building prior? Um, the building originally started at West, as Westford Academy. Mm -hmm. um, so it was the second Westford Academy. And it Originally, um, as you go through the space, you can see different locations where Westford Academy students actually carve their names into oh, the wall. That's so neat. And there's different spaces. There's a space in the building prior to what we know as the gym. Um, prior to that addition, there was a gym upstairs in what we would consider the attic or the third floor of the building. Right. Um, so it's just a a wonderfully, a wonderfully done historical renovation. Um, people will be so surprised when they walk in the building, they see this beautiful facility. And if they have been there before, they know what, it, what a change it is, sure. but they also can recognize the building. It's still historically beautiful and very, very well done. That is amazing, absolutely amazing. And the um, address, is it right on Main Street there? It is, it's right on Main Street. Um, it is located next to our child care facility at 73 Main Street, and our Rodenbush Community Center main building is at 65 Main Street, and that is the newly renovated building. Great, oh, and are you officially open for business? So currently, as of now, we are unofficially open for business. Okay. There are still some last minute details getting put in place. Um, we are hosting a few classes there, um, but we expect to have the building up and running at a much greater pace um, coming up soon and as we filter through this spring. Um, we do have a grand opening schedule, which we're very excited about. Um, that will be on Saturday, March 9th, and it will go from an open house during the day, um, starting at two o'clock and it will have some wonderful um, instructors there ready to show everyone, you know, programs that they could take at Rodenbush. There'll be some vendors there. Um, and then it will transition at six o'clock into somewhat of a cocktail party with a silent auction. Oh, fun. Um, and so it's going to be a really nice event. Um, we're is really that open to the public? To. It is, it's open to the public. We would love for everyone in Westford to come out and attend this event. Great. It's just a wonderful way to showcase what Rodenbush sure. has to offer and how beautiful the renovation is. Um, so we're really looking forward to this event. Great, and you mentioned Westford. But what about surrounding communities? Is Rodenbush open to uh, people in other communities? Sure. Of course, yes. So one of the great things about Rodenbush is that 
it is Westford's community center, but everyone in the area really does use Rodenbush Community Center. I personally was born and raised in Chelmsford, um, just down the road from Rodenbush. Sure. But I started going to Rodenbush when I was two years old, taking parent-toddler gymnastics classes. Wow. I stayed there for a long time, taking gymnastics classes, and I just feel like, you know, having, I was so fortunate to have the opportunity to come back to Rodenbush, and I just feel like it's, it's, in my blood, you know, I, I'm here for a reason. Sure, so. who would think when you were just two years old that you'd end up coming back as a, as a career? That's an amazing it story. Is. It is very, it's really nice and you know, it's not necessarily a unique story. We have a lot of people that I talk to that maybe they took a gymnastics class at Rodenbush or their kids went to preschool at Rodenbush and generation after generation, they keep coming back and you know, my kids all went to Rodenbush preschools and people just are always coming back. It's a very, it's very welcoming. Um, feeling, we want you to be in here and you feel like part of the community. That's, That's so awesome. Great. I do have a few questions. Um, the programs that you offer, are they mainly just for children or do you offer programs that are open to all ages? Can you talk a little bit about the, the programs that you're going to be hosting there? Yes, so we are not just focused on children, although we do have a child care facility and a preschool facility, we are truly out there for the greater community, all ages, all races, everyone that might wanna come and take a program, we welcome you to come and check it out. Um, one of the things that we are doing with you guys mm -hmm. is that we are starting up um, becoming part of the initiative to be a dementia-friendly community. That's and amazing. we are gonna host some memory cafes, yes. which I'm really excited about. Um, they're gonna be phenomenal for everybody in our community to come and check out and have a comfortable place to just come and be a part of it. Yeah, It's nice to know that there are just, you know, programs like that right in your backyard. You don't have to travel far. And talking about the programs, you mentioned gymnastics and you know these memory cafes. Are there other types of programs that um, may be coming back that you once had or maybe some newer programs that maybe you're looking for some professionals or vendors in the greater community that you could have, they could have a conversation to bring into Road and Bush? Mm. Definitely. So some of the programs that we are bringing back are some of our very popular programs that had to go on hiatus when we left the building um, last September. And those programs do include gymnastics. It's a very popular program for us. Um, in especially those, in your family. Yes, especially <laughs> in our family, yes. How many people um, usually attend that gymnastics class if, if it's one of the more popular ones? Um, it depends on the class as to what size and sure. the number of students in each class. Um, but typically we have um, over 200 students on oh a sessionly goodness. basis. Oh my gosh. So we have oh, somewhere between five program. and eight week sessions for gymnastics and throughout the week about 200 students walk through the door. Oh, wow. um, one of my favorite things about the gymnastics program is the parent-toddler classes because not only is it a gymnastics program and you get to go and do an activity with your child, but the camaraderie and the friendships that form out of those classes sure. is so nice to see. You know, you see this all on Facebook and all of these uh, social media sites, but I can see some of the parent-toddler moms and dads that I had, you know, seven, eight years ago that are all still friends. Wow. Uh, so it's really nice. So again, it's it's being a part of the community. Yeah, making um, connections. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Very and so I think so. you were gonna say some other programs too. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> another um, program that we're really excited to be offering again is art classes with Kathy Dunn. She Great. is a phenomenal art teacher um, and she is coming back with her programming. 
Um, so we're really excited to have her back. And who's that geared towards? Um, that one is geared up to kindergarten to sixth grade. Okay. Um, and we are also looking for other artists or art teachers that might be willing to come in and do some classes for adults because we have had a lot of interest in art classes for adults. Right. Um, another thing that Rodenbush had always previously done was um, Avis Lounge tended to be the art gallery. Mm. Um, so we would like to be able to bring local artists in and have um, some some showcases of local artists. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yes. Art is uh, almost like a new trend. <clears throat> so many, you know, paint nights and crafting right, nights. Right. It'd be yes. a great addition to that program. Mm -hmm. yes. Look, people looking for local artists to contribute yes. to. Um, you mentioned volunteers. Yes. So uh, can you talk a little bit about what your needs are in the community? Because I think a lot of people watching you know, may have some time or maybe looking for part-time work. Like, what types of things do you guys need from the community right now as you get going again? Yeah, sure. so we're looking for anybody that has you know, a little extra time that they would like to um, either spend with us or help us with something. We are looking for people that might like to make flyers mm -hmm. or people that might like to, you know, they might go to the library every week and they might be willing to take some flyers with them. Um, we're looking for people that could help us um, create new programming, but we're also looking for people that would be willing to step in and help run some of those famous programs that Rodenbush has, like our um, free community events, like our Halloween parade or our kindergarten welcome days. Sure. Um, so we're really open to any kind of volunteer, whether it be remotely or in person, anyone that thinks that they might have a talent or something that we could used to, to help us in our mission sure. to you know connect and enrich our community. That's awesome. Um, so on top of the volunteering, um, you were talking about some of the free programs. So is the town yard sale still going to, to happen? I know that yes. can be a big hit here in West Sarah's Bird. already got it in the calendar. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the town wide yard sale is always a huge hit. Um, it happens twice a year in okay. September and then again in April. And so our next one coming up is this April, um, and it is the, sat the last Saturday of April this year. Okay. And it's always a huge hit. All you have to do is you go to our website and you sign up to either have an at-home yard sale or a yard sale at Abbott School will you, where Abbott you will School. get a piece of the front lawn of Abbott School to display your goods. Um, and people will come from all over to come and check out what you have. Um, and then they'll also drive around yards, uh, yard sailing throughout the day. Um, so it's a very popular event. Um, probably the thing that's searched for the most on our website. Um, and people love it, sure. yeah. And talking about your website, can you share with the audience um, what that, you know, what is the name of the website so they can yeah. find it, but also what other resources or, or um, information can they find on your website? Sure, um, we have a pretty extensive website. Um, it is www.rodenbush. R O U D E N B U S H dot org. And you can find everything from a history of Rodenbush to our current staff members to employment opportunities that we have. Um, you could volunteer. You can see all of our programming from our preschool and our child care to our community education classes filtered by kids classes versus adult classes and gymnastics classes. Um, so I encourage you to check it out because it has a lot of information. What are some of the adult classes? Sure, so some of the adult classes are, we offer a basic life support class for people to refresh their um, certification as well as first aid and great. CPR. Oh, that's great. Um, in fact, the BLS, the basic life support class, was the very first class we had in the newly refurbished building not wow. this past Monday. Oh, um, and then we, we offer yoga classes. Um, we offer mom and me or dad and me baking classes. Nice. We offer a really unique program um, 
of Native American flute playing. Wow. Um, and that one is really cool because you don't need to have any experience with playing the flute. Sure. In fact, the instructor brings the flutes for you. No um, and it's a very therapeutic um, class, which is really nice. Um, so we do offer many programs. Some programs that I'm looking at bringing to the building are the art of beekeeping or um, mm. you know, gardening 101. We do partner with Weston Nurseries and they help us out and they offer some classes to um, our community, our greater sure. community. Um, but there are also many other classes that I haven't thought of that if somebody is interested in teaching a class, please reach out to me. I would love to have more classes come into the building. Um, and everyone has such unique and wonderful ideas that I'm sure that we could uh, you know, certainly um, figure out a great way to make some programs That's happen. so cool, because then you have this diverse group of classes that you know all in one place yes. rather than having to go like find a gardening club if you just want to yes. see what it what gardening's all about or mm -hmm. yoga you don't have to go to a yoga you don't necessarily have to go to a yoga studio and become a member you yes. can just sort of dabble in different things which is so nice yes until you find maybe what you really love right. and then you can pursue it a little further um, that is one of the really nice things about Rodenbush is that we offer a very wide range of programming um, and we're always open to more programming so if there isn't something that you like sure. reach out and we'll try and find it for you we had um, social media has been so big and we've had people reach out via social media to say that they really would love to see cooking classes mm. both for kids and adults in Westford you know they may have them in other towns that aren't particularly local to Westford sure. um, and people would really love to see cooking classes so that is one thing I'm working on um, is finding people that would be interested in, in instructing cooking classes mm -hmm. and also mm -hmm. um, cooking demonstrations in all different types of cuisines Oh, that's that's so awesome. It's so great that it can be driven by the community. Mm -hmm. um, do people need to become members at Rodenbush, or how does that work? So you do not need to be a member at Rodenbush. Currently, if you n live in Westford or the greater Westford community, you're a member. Great. You're part of our community. Um, and the way that the programming works is that you just pay for the class. Okay. Um, we do try to keep very community-driven prices. Um, we're a community center and we're here for you. Um, whether you are an instructor or a participant in the classes, um, we try to make sure that we keep the classes cost-effective because sure. like you said, you might be trying to figure out what you like. Right. Yeah. Um, so, so certainly um, that's definitely one of the things that we like about Rodenbush is that we try and keep it cost effective for everyone. Sure. Um, you do have an added bonus if you are a Westford resident that you do get a 10% discount on most classes. Oh, interesting. That's yes. nice. And how can, you know, the, the community obviously can help and reach out, or is there a way that any of our local businesses could help support Road and Bush's efforts in, in being the great community center they are? Yeah, of course. You know, we are always certainly looking for sponsors. Um, so any of our, you know, local businesses would, we would, of course, welcome any sponsorship that anyone would be able to give. Um, but we also are looking for it, partnerships in mm -hmm. the sense that it would be nice to work with local businesses to bring some programming in. We have some phenomenal businesses mm -hmm. in our community. I agree. And to be able, with such you know, such smart and unique um, people that it would be great to do some kind of partnership to bring some classes in to the greater community. Yeah, and it would probably be great for some of those businesses to touch people that they wouldn't normally get their get their hands on, you know, for Definitely. Um, if they might be interested in then pursuing classes with them. I do, I, you know, being at uh, Bridges in Westford, we've realized how what a sense of community this area has mm, um, and and how much people are wanting to connect with each other and help each other and I think that's really special about this area I agree yes and, and for us we've 
really worked. I, I know we're working closely with Rodenbush and <laughs> yes. um, Sarah has really worked with a lot of our local organizations, but there does seem to be a strong sense of community partnership here, which really benefits the people of the area. Yes. It's really impressive. It's nice I to agree. come together. It is. It's nice to come together. Um, for those of you that follow town meeting, we had we were so blessed to have such a great show of support from yes. our community to make sure that Rodenbush Community Center, or a community center, stayed in. 65 Main Street, and it was just so nice to see everyone coming out to support us. Um, and you're right, that is not something that every community has. Right. This is a very unique and wonderful community that really comes out to support each other, and you can feel really proud to say, you know, I'm from Westford, or, or I'm from the Westford area, and people are, they really are, they're like, wow, that's great, you know, and, and there is that strong sense of community that makes it really sure. special to be here. How, how many people would you say, not to put you on the spot no, much, please. but how, how, <laughs> how many people would you say Rodenbush touches in the community? I mean, you know, going back to talking about how I always am meeting people that say, well, I went to Rodenbush for this class, mm -hmm. or, you know, my kids went to Rodenbush here. I would say, you know, over the course of the years, Rodenbush really has touched a large, large portion <coughs> of the community and the greater community. Like I said, I'm from Chelmsford, and there are many people from Chelmsford and Tingsboro and Littleton and Acton and actually Boxborough and mm -hmm. a lot of the surrounding towns that that have been touched by Rodenbush in one way or another. Um, and and our mission is to get out there and tell everyone that we're here and to 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 keep going and yeah. to keep getting to people and saying, we're here, we're here to, you know, to support you, we're here to be a resource for you. That's one of our big goals, is to be a resource for people. Sure. You know, people want to know what's going on in town, well, go to Rodenbush. Yeah. You're new to town, go to Rodenbush. Mm -hmm. They're, they're going to be the ones that tell you what's going on, what there is in town to offer, um, what programs to get involved with, so that's, you know, it's nice to have our doors opening again yeah, so that people can walk right in and ask. So when, so when they come in, can you describe, because yeah. I haven't been, I know you've, you, you know, you guys have talked a lot and I, yeah. I'm looking forward to going now that yes. it's unofficially open. <laughs> yes. But tell me what's it like for me when I come in, what, what can I expect? So the grandeur of the steps when you walk in, you, you park, you come around to the front of the building and you walk up the steps and you open the doors and it, it is now this beautiful building. So you're automatically directed to the main office where there is a receptionist there. So someone is always there to greet you during someone the Someone is always there okay, to greet nice. you, <laughs> yes. Um, and we're working on upping our hours slowly as we come into the building. Um, you are unofficially open. We are unofficially <laughs> open, yes. So the um, so someone is there to greet you. For security reasons, we do ask that people sign into the building so that sure. we know who's there. Um, sure. And then you can proceed to whatever classroom or conference room or the gymnasium that you are going to for your classes. Uh, one of the greatest, great new features of the building is a beautiful lobby space on the bottom floor, um, which also just serves as a, a congregation space mm -hmm. where people can come and, you know, maybe your child is taking a gymnastics class and your other child is taking an art class and you just finished up your yoga class while you're waiting for them. Mm -hmm. um, you can come to the lobby space, you have a nice um, coffee set up there oh, uh, nice. with Zippy's coffee. And oh, I've heard all about that. Yes, Zippy's <laughs> You should coffee. stop by just for a cup of coffee. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, and they're, you know, they're great. Again, it's that community partnership where it costs $1.50 for a cup of coffee, but 25 cents out of every cup of coffee comes back to Rodenbush. Oh, great. Even so. more reason to go get your yeah. cup of coffee over yeah. there. You'll save money and some of it goes to a good cause. Yes. That's great. So, 
So besides the website, you said, you mentioned that you could be found on Facebook too. Is it just Westford Rodenbush? How, how will we find you on social media? Yep, so our Facebook is um, Rodenbush Community Center. Okay. And there is also a Facebook page for Rodenbush Gymnastics. Okay. And we're currently working on setting up our Twitter and Instagrams. Um, we're not quite there yet. Sure. But they will be active at some point soon. Great. Maybe when it's officially yes. all put together. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but um, so besides everything we talked about, is there anything more that you'd like to share with the audience about Road and Bush and just, we're all very excited that you guys will be, you know, right close by to us and providing these amazing programs. I mean, like you said, for all ages and, and generations, it's just, it's so exciting. So any, you know, last comments or information you'd like to share? Um, well, I would love to reiterate our website. Um, you can definitely find out a lot of great information there. That's www.rodenbush.org. Um, and we're always looking for ideas. Um, there is a survey on there if you'd like to take our survey. Um, it asks you what kind of it courses you're interested in taking. Sure. Um, but I would very much encourage people to reach out if they have any ideas, if they want to teach a class. But more than any of that, just stop by. Just come in, say hi, and mm -hmm. check and have out. Have a cup of coffee. Have a cup of coffee. <laughs> um, check out the community and um, and check out Road and Bush. Awesome. Yeah, I think we will. And I think, um, I mean, even just ha spending this time with you, it made me think of all the ways, you know, for myself personally, we could get involved, but even as an organization, mm -hmm. Bridges, you know, we have chefs that, you know, that can offer cooking classes. Yes. And, you know, we have a great activities program and we do the memory cafe, like thinking of all these ways just during this brief conversation mm -hmm. of how we might be able to partner with you. And so hopefully um, our viewers at home will start thinking about what can I get out of it and what can I give? Yeah, that How would be we, amazing. Especially other local businesses, there's such a huge opportunity there yes. to not just help your, you know, your business, but help support your community and bring, you know, new interest and hobbies to, to yes. the greater community. Yes, and we are also, you know, as as a stepping stone, really, where we are looking for vendors that might want to come to our grand opening and let people in our community that are coming to Rodenbush Community Center know what they have to offer, mm -hmm. uh, because that's what we're about. We're about the community and we're about, you know, showcasing the community. So one last thing, um, will you be looking for donations for your silent auction for the grand We opening? would love donations okay. for our silent mm -hmm. auction, mm -hmm. gift baskets, Gifts, gift cards, gift certificates. Um, we're even looking for um, donations of appetizers mm -hmm. um, from restaurants and things like that. So yeah. any kind of donation, um, there's certainly nothing too big or too small. Um, and not just for the grand opening, yeah. but all throughout oh, yeah, the year. Right. You guys do a lot of fantastic. Um, that is true. You know. Yes, I will actually um, mention that we have our second annual scavenger hunt coming up this Ooh. year um, on May 18th. This is Saturday night. It was a huge success last year. It awesome. is a 21 plus event um, and it is so much fun. You drive around town and you take pictures and you bring them back. Some of the pictures that come back from this scavenger hunt are just hysterical. <laughs> For example, in our scavenger hunt, we asked for everyone in their team, which is a team of three to five, to take a picture in a boat. And one group went and got a kid's boat and each of them put their finger in the boat oh, <laughs> and they, they took a the picture. Um, so it's a, so really, it's a really great way to be creative. Awesome. Um, we're lo Fun. really looking forward to that scavenger hunt Fun. as well. Great, well, well yeah, thank you so a, much yeah, for being that's a great here. Way to end. Thank you so much. We're really happy to have you and good of luck. Of course, thank you, yes. thank you. Mm -hmm. It was a pleasure to be here. I appreciate you having me. Well, and congratulations and much success with, the, with everything that's to come. Thank you. Right. Thank, thank you for joining us today. We'll see you next time.